and you know for the for these copper boards um, the top and the bottom layer are not connected so that's that's why we use the vias if we need them um, doing these um, the pins or the headers um, just add a little bit of flux around it and um, just to um, fix the solder with the soldering iron and and then just add a it's like you're doing the second node of, of a resistor or cap or capacitor because you know you don't have to fight it in or anything you just put it over there and um, add the solder on it I think it has a good connection over here okay it will be good enough what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these two leads over here okay and go back to this side you can see we have it this way so we'll do it the same exact way it did that side that was a little bit of, a little bit too much flux but that's fine if you ever have too much flux you can use the flux removal to clean it up and do the second on the same way I'll just add just a little bit more. Okay. Good. Um, you'll do the same way to the other pin for the receiver. Again, for the receiver, it's actually the opposite way. Remember, we had the longer lead going to the left side over here, and that was our um, anode. Um, in here, the longer lead doesn't go for the VCC, it actually goes to the, the data. So the longer lead is going to be on the right, and and this is my data signal, and this is my VCC. So I will have it connected this way. Okay, let me see real quick. Okay, and just do it the exact same way. Have it just coming out this way. Um, again, I will go ahead and do the back side first. So I actually have a connection, and then I will go ahead and do the front side. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Same exact way, add a little bit of flux on both sides, and um, get some of the solder on the solder iron and just connect it to the leaves. Okay, got that one. Okay, got that. Now we go back to the front side. Do the other one. Um, the first one, actually, let me actually cut this part. Okay. Now we go back to the other side. Here on the point. Same exact way. There's actually just a little bit of flex that actually fall from from the bottom up. That that shouldn't matter. Same exact way, and it's just just with the practice you will you will you will do a lot better. Okay, so we have connection over here. You just need a more flux. You can actually see when when you need a little um, when you need a little bit more solder or you need a better connection. So I got these two. Um, again, I can I'll zoom in just to make sure you can see. 
see that connections are good. Then having problem. Um, even these two are, um, even these two are connected together. It doesn't matter because um, there's actually um, a line between them anyways. So that could be changing. Um, the last part is headers. Leave the headers till the end because whenever you add headers, it will be harder to actually manipulate the board and um, get to the other component. Um, if you have like low profile headers and high profile headers, use the low first and then the high one. And we only have one header in this case, so um, shouldn't be a problem. Um, again, you know, the connection is on, the, on, is on this side, so I will have the black side is on the bottom so I can actually solder the top side. So let me just go here real quick. Okay. Can you see it over here? Um, usually what I do is I just make connection with one of them first and then tilt it to make sure that it's actually not um, like not tilted. It's not on the sideways, and it looks. It would, you will see that it actually looks exactly. You see it because you know you will connect to you connect the header to a different part. So you want to make sure it it's in the way, in the correct orientation. So look, then this way I think it's good. I might tilt it a bit, a little tiny bit. Um, just make sure when you do this, be careful not to touch the lead because that will be really hard. So I'm actually touching the other lead. Um, I think this is good. I don't see if it's, I don't see it's solid or anything. So I will just go ahead and um, sound the rest of them. And you can see like the reason solder when I added it, um, the whole board is actually tilted right now. So it would be a lot harder to solder the rest of the components when you do the header first. Just add a flux on each one. Again, it's just like doing any type of panel or header. Just add the flux and um, touch this to solder with the solder iron. And that over here. Okay. And you can see how the flux actually helps um, the solder to um, just melt quickly and connect to be connected to the to the pin like right away. Okay. I think done looks good. I don't see any connections between the two leads or anything. And here we go. This is the first board um, we did for the tutorial. Um, uh, again, it's the proximity sensor board. Um, and if you have any questions, um, please just ask. Thank you very much for watching.